Hey, what's up guys? Josh from Trail Build. This is Dustin with Custom Offsets. Dustin with Custom Offsets. Yeah, it's got a ring to it. One of our like brothers. It. Awesome. <laughs> so we are doing another Rating Your Rigs episode Jeep Wranglers. Brady picked out five of them that we're gonna rate from a scale 10 to one or one to 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst. And we're just gonna go through, we're gonna see what we like, see what we don't like, check them out and give them a rating and um, maybe some additional information that they have on there. So if you guys haven't already uploaded your rigs to the gallery, it's trailbuildoffroad.com, just hit that gallery button on the menu bar and then you can just follow the prompts from there to add your rig. Remember guys, lots of pictures, lots of good descriptions when adding your rigs. So with that said, let's do it. Let's get started. All right, first one, 2018 Wrangler JKU. Gear off-road, barricade 17 by nine wheels. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's Zero a offset. A little bit different. I wonder if this is a gear off-road. I'm guessing sponsor. it's a, a sponsored build, yeah. yep. General Grabber X3, 37 by 12 and a half, BDS suspension, three and a half inch lift. So he's fitting 37 by 12 and a half on a three and a half it's, inch lift. It's so crazy to me the, the amount of tire you can stuff under a Jeep with, I mean, a three and a half inch lift and he's running 37s with sizable gap. Right. You know. And the Rubicons have even more. It's so clearance. wild. Yeah. yeah. A couple of high clearance fenders and you can mm -hmm. fit you can fit mega tires underneath there. Absolutely. It's pretty cool. No rub, no trim, which I wouldn't expect. Uh, yeah. again, the, the Jeeps you can just stuff gigantic tires underneath. Yeah. Them. I'm not sure exactly what those fenders are. They're definitely high clearance fenders mm -hmm. if they're some sort of aftermarket. Yep. The I love the LED keys. Yeah, the what is that? Six of them? Two, four, six. Yeah. Right up in the top in the roof rack is awesome. I don't really see, I don't know if we really see that much. Yeah. You know, the square cube lights on top of it's, the rig. It's interesting they want cubes instead of a light bar. Yeah. Most guys put light bars up there, but I imagine that probably helps with the hood reflection that everyone um, sure. complains about. Yeah. Quite a bit of lights yeah. on here, which you guys night wheel, you know that having all those lights is super important to have, just not yeah. only just being able to see around your rig, but if you've got to get towed or recovered, mm -hmm. um, you can definitely see all around everything. So we will be adding shortly. In fact, by the time you guys see this, rating your rigs, we might already have our black label lighting uh, rock lights on there on our website, trailbuildoffroad.com. So definitely looking forward to that. Yeah, John so, and the crew over there make great products. I mean, uh, yeah, they do. we've been selling those over at Custom Offsets for a number of years, so yeah. super cool to see that they're coming to, to you guys as well. Yeah, so. definitely. Pretty cool looking rig. It's got the aftermarket bumpers on there, spare tire. Mm -hmm. It's got the Full-size spare, yeah. yeah. Pretty decked out. I think this thing would also you know, make a pretty cool Overland rig. Absolutely. Rooftop tent on there and all yep, that good yep, stuff. So yep. You know how to speak to my heart. <laughs> 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 well, we could probably go for a while on this one, but yep. um, I suppose, do you have a number? I'm ready to go. All right, I got a number two. So three, two, one, ten. Nine. Oh, a ten. It's bang. for me that one out of the park. For me, <laughs> the only thing I want to do this is add a rooftop tent and just mm. disappear for a weekend. I mean, it, the wheel and tire package for me is is perfect. It's not super aggressive. You could daily drive this if you had to, but it's still right. big enough that you can take it off road. Yeah. He's got the winch. He's got the full size spur. He's got the roof. Right. It's, it's perfect. Massive. You know, yeah. It doesn't it's, have like 40 inch tires. It's very it's well done to me. Yeah. Yep. Pretty sweet. I like it. Yeah. It's ready to roll. Nice pick, Brady. Cool. And thanks um, to Gear Off Road for yeah. that one. Gear Off Road for uploading your rig to the gallery. Moving on, we have a. Oh, oh boy, okay. Look at this Maz. Yeah. Okay. So. Two, I got a little distracted. I was like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> Josh is like, are those bead locks? Yeah, those bead locks. Oh, yeah. Oh, spider, spider locks. Yeah, okay. Spider locks, bead locks. So, uh, 2014 Jeep Wrangler JKU four door. It's got the spider, right there it says, yep. spider lock, bead locks, 20 by 10s, and negative 50 offset. This one has a Cooper Discover STT Pros. 38 by 13 and a half, so a pretty decent sized tire on there too. Yeah, uh, yeah rock. for a 20, that's a great pairing. Yeah, for a 20 and the, because the rule of thumb is you typically always want to go at least double what your rim or wheel size is. Rim, rim size. <laughs> <laughs> These guys over at Custom Offsets are so specific about it. Being wheels. Wheels. Yeah. Wheels. <laughs> All of us off-roaders are like, yeah, cool rims, bro. The, the yeah, round like, things that you mount your tires on, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the ring goes around the Yeah, the, the, wheel. the rim is technically the outside of the wheel. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, cool. Five and a half inch rock crawler yeah. on this one, though. Okay. Yeah, pretty sweet. Looks like he's got a winch on there, stinger bumper. Got some decent LED headlights. Okay. The Decepticon is. Now, he's got Dang. the light bar, but he's got the cube lights under there. Yep, 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 yep. Looks like the aftermarket, the. Uh, 
the metal fenders on there. Yep. Get rid of the plastic ones, the winch. Look at this one, hey. Oh, yeah. You even flex, bro? Dude, he's flexing. That's he's flexing wild good. to me. Yeah. Um, it's got Dynatrack axles. Oh, dang. I don't, Drop I don't some know. money on some Is axles. It? Okay. Yeah. yeah, the Dynatracks are super awesome. They're um, definitely a lot stronger than what you get for stock axles. Sure. And, and they're direct bolt ins too. I mean, they're pretty sweet. Cool. Well, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if you have a number. I'm I'll ready to rate. Yep, let's do okay. it. Okay. So, three, two, one, eight. 9.8. 9.8, that's yeah. a very specific. So what makes it not a 10 if it's a 9.8? I've only rated one rate <laughs> as a 10. It's the Scout, isn't it? It is the Scout, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. No, it, it, I mean, it's for everything that you would want an off-road build to be, this is it. I mean, um, I only rated it an eight because it's not really our market. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit, and I have to be careful I say this, right? It, it's a little bit too off-roady for me. Right? Sure. It's, I'm more of an overland guy. I'm not so much an off-road guy. So, right. But this, I respect, the, I respect the hell out of this. He's got yeah. axles. He's got, I mean, he has everything yeah. that he would need to do to take on pretty much anything yeah. that gets in his path. Exactly. So. You know, this is a rig, too, that I could even see just uh, throwing a rooftop tent on as well and just, you know. I'll tell you, you could go anywhere Bahan. you want to. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, it's pretty new, pretty neat, pretty nice. I like it. So I gave it a 9.8 because it's really built. Because it's not the off. Scout, I know. So, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and moving on, we have a 2012 Jeep Wrangler. Okay. JKU Hard Rock Painkiller Exposed. That's a kind of a neat name. Uh, 20 by 12s, negative 44s. So pretty, pretty good negative offset on yep. there. And then it's got the Patagonia, so 38s by 15 and a half. Yeah, that's a little bit wider wheel than tire than you know what, what we're normally used to seeing. So we went from one extreme to the <laughs> exactly. other here, which is crazy. Yeah. yeah, I think this kind of more leans towards like, uh, I mean, it's an off roader. Don't get me wrong. It's, yep. You know, it's only 20 inch wheels. It's not like 24s or 26s or something crazy like that. But um, and then it has a Moto Fab three inch suspension. So he's stuffing 38s on a three inch suspension. That's what I'm saying. There's yeah, so much room. Rubicon. There's so much room for activities in there. Yeah. Those fenders are super cool. Those yeah. are definitely not OEM. No. And I like them. Yeah. They're very aggressive. They are. And they, they, they're super bold, just like super muscular looking. Yeah. They pair really well with every with the front and rear bumpers because I see the rear bumper mm -hmm. and the front bumper are both aftermarket. Yeah. They're just, it has a really cool theme going on and I'm, I'm about it. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's pretty cool. Yeah. There's a little kid in the room. Yeah. <laughs> Kid's like, Dad, what are you doing out there? Yeah. Or Mom. I when don't know. can we go wheeling? Yeah. It's got the different angry grill on yep. there. Yeah, with the LED headlights. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's rate uh, it. You got a number? Let's do it. All right. So, three, two, one, eight seven. and a half. <laughs> yep. And I figured we'd be a little bit further apart on that. Um, again, coming from the custom offset side, this is a little bit more of a show wheel, even if it is a 20 by 12 on a 38. Mm -hmm. But um, the black and milled looks really good. Um, I think it pairs really, I really love that. I know I said that before, but I really love that, that body kit, yeah. that, that fender kit. It's not bad. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Pretty neat. Okay. So move How on. neat is that? I don't pretty neat. know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Wow. This thing's a brute. Let's see. What do we got here? Okay. 2012 Jeep Wrangler, JKU, Black Rhino. Black rhinos are awesome. Mesas, yep. the 17 by eight and a half, negative 18 offset. It's got the Niddle Trail Grapplers, 37 by 12 Great and a half. Great tires. So that's pretty cool. It's a Rubicon Express Super Flex suspension lift. It's a three and a half inch lift. Uh, what do you got here? So high clearance fenders. Yeah, little itty bitty fenders. That basically, yep. it looks like they just pretty cut the fenders tucked off. Tucked in pretty tight there. Yep. Angry grill. Look at it. I like the front end on those, how they look like a face. You know, you have like the eyes and then like the mouth. You know, and you know what Brent says? Brent from Trailbill, he says it looks like a sturgeon. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brady, you'll probably have to cut in um, a picture of a sturgeon because yeah. folks down south don't have sturgeon. That's true. They're an ugly oh. fish. Yeah. <laughs> look at all the audio. Oh, jeez. Oh, like, that guy's ready to go overlanding to the campsite and then party like a rock star. When we just open this picture of the speakers, yeah. my points just dropped. Ah, uh, come on, that should be <laughs> worth bonus points. Where are you gonna put your recovery gear, your all your, your, all your off-roading equipment, your camping equipment? But it looks cool. It probably sounds good. <laughs> uh, let's see, got a number? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so three, two, one, Nine. six. Yep, I mean, it's <laughs> it's super cool to me. Um, the only thing I would add to it is like a rooftop uh, rack of some sort mm. to either put a tent or even some storage space because you do lose that that space in the back with the, yeah. the speaker setup. But right. um, 
I could see somebody daily driving this and then taking it wheeling on the weekends, you know, something Probably. low to moderate yeah. trails. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hanging out at the beach. Like yeah. What's in this picture here? Yeah. Opening up the back tailgate and blasting some music mm -hmm. while, uh, while we roll by in our real off-roaders. <laughs> That's fine. Ouch! Ouch! No, you hit kidding. me right, I'm right in kidding. my soul. My soul, Josh. Oh! <laughs> dug that one deep. Yikes. Yeah, I uh, gave it a six uh, for those reasons. It's not real decked out or anything as yeah. far as the, the off-road stuff. But, sure. Uh, it does have a clean look. Yeah, yeah, it's very, the it's very tasteful the way it's all modded mm -hmm. together. Yeah. Last. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look at that. Starting right out the yeah. gate, flexing. All right. I recognize I'm this one right away. This is uh, Ryan's from Road Legal Four Wheel Drive. Oh, cool. So he's a local yeah. guy to us here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's the, the Wisconsin plate. Yep. Yeah. he has got a whole bunch of cool stuff done to this. Uh, 2008, 2018 Jeep Wrangler. It's got the Dirty Life um, DT2s, 17 by 9s with a negative 38 offset. Wow, okay. The Milestar Patagonias, which have been an awesome selling tire for us. A lot of people love them. Yeah, super popular for yep. you guys, right? Yep, they're, they're, they're great on road and really great off road too. Um, and he's got 38s on there by 13 and a half with a Terraflex, four and a half inch lift. So four and a half inch sport tune suspension. Oh, he's got the Falcons, the three in, 3.3s, the fast adjust okay. shock. So okay. those are pretty sweet. Yeah. Falcon's done a great job. Major plastic trimming. Major. I love that. Yeah. The Falcon Nexus EF 2.2 fast adjust steering stabilizer. Yep. That thing's pretty sweet. Re-geared in the rear. 513s, Yukon's pretty sweet. And pinion set with Dana 44 upgrade. Um, has a DV8 off-road TCJL O2 body mounted tire carrier. It's oh, a mouthful. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, uh, adjustable front track bar. It's like code. It's like web development. Yeah. <laughs> like just all in that one sentence. Rock yep. crawler, adjustable track bar, Tom Woods, rear drive shaft, high lift jack. Oh, Odie, cool. Odie duty, 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 plug <laughs> <extension>. OBD2. <laughs> <laughs> He's got everything in yeah, here. Yeah, a whole bunch I of mean, stuff. Radios, camera mounts, yeah. inner fenders. It's all there. Rough yeah. country inner fender set. So the Rough Country Inner Fender set we do carry as well. So that's pretty And that's, cool. that's pretty new for you guys, right? All the yeah. Rough Country stuff, yeah. which is super exciting to see you guys get those. Yeah, definitely. They so. have a lot of accessories and um, super easy company to work with too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Chad's awesome over at Rough Country. So we've been really happy to partner with them guys. Um, so yeah, this thing's pretty decked out. Yeah. I like it. So let's rate this one. All right, sounds good. So three, two, one, eight point five. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's done super well. I would personally, I'd like to see a little bit more show aspect to it, but I, mm -hmm. it's a great build. He's got all the parts, everything you need to, yeah. to really enjoy this Jeep. So good for him. You yeah. Know? Yeah. It's a cool looking Jeep. It's got yep. definitely, you know, the Patagonia's great tire. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's probably one of our best selling tires, um, or at least up there and the dirty life, the wheels, uh, they've been doing a great job just killing the market. A uh, whole bunch of cool stuff done to it. The bumpers, winch, a lot of attention to detail on this yeah. one too. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. And with that said, also really good pictures mm -hmm. and while off-road and a really good description too. Oh, you can ask got a for. lot of stuff written down there, what's all been done to it. You know, and that just, it, it's cool to see what other people are doing. It gives mm -hmm. others ideas on what to do and um, a whole bunch of good stuff. So we definitely appreciate all that information, all the pictures from um, all you guys that are uploading your rigs to the gallery. So definitely appreciate it. And that has been another Rating Your Rigs with Dustin from Custom Offsets. Yeah. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt. If you guys haven't already, checked out our website. It's trailbuiltoffroad.com. So add your rigs to the gallery, whole bunch of cool accessories and tires, wheels, all kinds of cool stuff. So with that said, we're gonna go ahead and get the heck out of here. As always guys, we appreciate all of you for watching. Again, I'm Josh from Trailbuilt. I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets. And we'll see you guys out on the trails.